Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I just passed. Of course, this is Mass Quasi. Go hard, Gambia. Like, share, subscribe. You know, I've been uh, trying keeping up more and more with my YouTube channel because I want to make myself available for people that want to come over and and see people who have you know um, something going on, who has a foundation, you know, who's operating within their senses, and you know, it's a lot of craziness going on out here. A lot of craziness. You know, so uh, over the past days, you know, we've heard, you know, different individuals who uh, who have proclaimed to be leaders of the movement, leaders of the Pan-African movement. They they uh, infiltrated. I, I was gonna say integrated, but they infiltrated the uh, the movement. Got in there, destroyed a lot of good relationships with people. You know, making false accusations, making false accusations that they they themselves are guilty of. By their own admission so we're just seeing everything you know what's done in the dark come to the light we're seeing all of that unfold and you know uh, behind you know so you got these people now they can't even come in the country one of them left the country if they come back from what I'm hearing if they come back they're gonna be arrested by authorities for a conspiracy to to uh, bring narcotics into the country so you know this is going on with the you know people that are supposed to be leaders people that got embraced people came here and they had the most uh the most wicked plan and they end up you know being wanted or you know they can't even come into the country because of the possibility of them being arrested for things they were doing while at the same time po perpetrating as leaders of the movement and people who really genuinely cared about others who were repatriating over here it's just a big mess it's crazy and it's unfortunate you know YouTube is largely a platform for gossip and talk and things and entertainment however you know that the powerful repatriation movement had spilled over into that area and then of course we have you know our very nature and how we operate we had that affect something that was so clean and pure in terms of our return and repatriation here to the continent you know however it has to happen it's gonna be done it's opportunity here definitely I think all of you all seen the opportunity that people grab that, you know, with this land, you know, with the real estate, you know, it was a, a lot, you know, a few people, initial people coming over here, they paid two and three times what they should have paid on property and uh, uh, real estate, you know, land, go, going into land deals and, you know, not having proper demarcations or the taxes not being paid, just all of that drama. So we've all watched that. We've all been through it. We see that it was a huge, and it still is a huge, huge opportunity. But now everybody dispersed, you know, but there are a few of us that's coming together <laughs> and who have, you know, uh, been together through the whole, you know, uh, disruption and uh, laid the foundation and are laying the foundation to be able to work. But now we're doing it in a way where, you know, we don't have everybody, you know, uh, in the mix of what's being done because it's clear and it's evident that our people will try to bring, you know, bring you down when they see something, you know, positive uh, coming, you know, in, in, instead of contributing in a positive way. So, you know, I wanted to make this quick video. It was on my mind. I was rolling. And, you know, of course, you know, those who've been following the drama, you know, I, I've been accused of breaking in somebody's house. I've been uh, accused of um, many things, drug trafficking. I've been accused of, um, you know, uh, mismanagement receiving funds under false pretenses and none of that held up in in, uh, in you know in the court and definitely you know uh, nothing came out of that situation outside of the truth of who the real uh, where the real problem was that disrupted tens of millions of dollars tens of millions of dollars coming into to the market economy now we can go deeper into that as to the people who were here on the ground just go back and do your research who embraced that type of behavior now that all of this is out who embraced that they say birds of the same feather flock together you know we know the uh, the lady from uk i'm not even gonna say her name but i'm gonna put it out there it's been a lot of talk i've just been being quiet for the most part but i'm not gonna sit here and talk about nobody or put them on my channel but you know those who've been following you already know there was people here on the ground that I used to work with that was really just hating. And that's what it is at the end of the day. A lot of things that was, there's a lot of material out there for the courts, for the legal process, you know, for the slander, you know, all, everything has now went through to a, uh, 
uh, legal process or a prosecution who actually looked at the root of all of this drama that came last year that disrupted tens of millions of dollars and led people into a lot of bad real estate dealings. You know, somebody wanted to disrupt all of that collective unity that we were going to use to buy a big piece of land so they can benefit themselves. Multiple people at multiple levels, you know, uh, however, we're past that point and we're moving forward and we're seeing the main people involved in it get exposed, exposed, exposed for, you know, the, uh, the garbage that they perpetuate and, and uh, the way that they think. So, right now, you know, uh, I can't talk about everything, you know, it's, you know, but, you know, as you guys see, it's a, it's a real messy situation. But now, it really shows the fullness of who the, and where the problem was. So, keeping that in mind, you know, as you come over here, you know, a lot of people had got screwed over in the situation you know, uh, that they came into and ran into because they put their trust in people that were only here just a few weeks. What could you do? You know, what could you do in just, just a few weeks? Who do you know? What do you know? Never been here before. That was most of our major mistake. Then other people came right behind it and supported it and, you know, came into the market with this arrogance, you know, and this mentality that they will come over here and they'll follow and duplicate, you know, this dog eat dog, mentality that has been you know at the head of the movement until others started coming in and, and duplicating you know that, those same attitudes and that's something that is not sustainable it cannot take place definitely when you have somebody else's backyard so Coco Ocean I'm on my way out right now to do some business and meet some people and just wanted to check in I'm building my subscribers. You know, we have some things going on now. And you know, like everything's not for YouTube. Of course, I deal and I work with a lot of people, so what? You know, it's been determined at the end of the day, I'm the most legitimate person here. And I'll put that on camera. It's been determined, determined at the end of the day that I'm the most legitimate person here because all everything that I've done went through the, the, the toughest of scrutiny and it all came out right and exact 100% you know uh, you know official as far as a collective you know we had the largest <coughs> group of people that came together with this money me putting up the most putting up the most money and always have over the last few years to lay an economic foundation not just to come over and to exploit the economy you know i've been here i've seen everybody coming from day one i see everything i know everybody you know it ain't a good look in the whole world knows it. but what's taking uh, place behind uh closed door that's even more sinister but like i said a lot of the you know the people that's at the at the head of the movement that embrace that type of activity they've been exposed for the fake frauds that they are so i hope it's a wake-up call it's very shameful you know we have kiki and i always represent for kiki because she represented for me represented for the diaspora and coming out and really addressing the situation with these sisters that just came over and disrupted a beautiful beautiful thing that was here and she's been going hard to get that out there to let it be known you know, uh, I was just sitting back, just going through all of the uh, the changes that had to take place and hold it down, you know, because uh, that's what I do. But at the end of the day, it was something that had to be done to bring out the, the truth and the, the, uh, the ones who were here causing uh, the vision here on the ground. However, we're going to keep it moving. You know, we're past that point. We all know where we stand. You know, like I said, you know, we, we have people that just came in the market that... Uh, you know, incriminated himself in, in multiple criminal activities while at the same time accusing others of criminal activities, the very criminal activities that they were guilty of. So, y'all, you know, take that, you know, think on it. We'll move forward. You know, like, share, subscribe. Peace.